Hey there guys, good evening from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Today I am on the mic. Hopefully you can hear me better a little bit and I'm gonna review, sort of like do a comparison video. I'm uploading three videos. A little bit tired from yesterday. I went for a trip, a long drive. Uh, I drove at about four hours on really horrible roads. I couldn't do uploads yesterday. I literally was very exhausted. I just crashed, you know, at home and just somehow had dinner and slept. So today I have a little bit more energy, but still uh, trying to regain back the strength. So today, I, as you can see from title, I'm going to be comparing two Gucci fragrances. And this video, I actually dedicate to Sebastian Zara. Uh, he is one of my most favorite personalities. Uh, today is his birthday. Happy birthday, Sebastian. He's one of our brothers from, I think, Turkey originally. And he lives in the States. Uh, one of the best human beings in FRACCOM, you know, one of the nicest guys ever. Big celebrity, uh, way down to earth, huge collection, huge knowledge. He is an awesome fragrance reviewer. If you ever ask me who are my top five, He's one of them all the time. So uh, he did this review uh, comparison with a beautiful lady. Uh, she also, I believe, is a perfumer or a reviewer. And this comparison between two Gucci fragrances, both of them discontinued at this point, I believe. I actually happened to just collect, finally, Gucci Intense Oud. This perfume I've been on the hunt for years. Okay, I did review from my brother in 2018. And since then, I couldn't find a good deal. I never found this bottle. These are going very expensive. I'll just talk about it. And I also am going to compare it with Gucci Intense, oh, sorry, Gucci Guilty Oud. So Intense Oud versus Gu Gucci Guilty Oud. Uh, this can get confusing. There are two different lines, two different fragrances, nothing much in common, but I'll compare them anyway. So I want to cover everything. Uh, which one would be good for you? Which one smells better? Which one has better longevity and uh, reformulation issue and whatnot and discontinuation as well. So as you can tell, <coughs> recent times, I'm oh, sorry, Recent times, I've been buying quite a few Gucci fragrances. You see my reviews. Uh, some, namely, are two of my other ones I'll show from the Gucci line are discontinued. I love them. I just absolutely proud of them. Gucci by Gucci. Okay. And then this is Gucci by Gucci Sport. These two are very hard to find nowadays. If you find them at good prices, buy them. And the other one, Gucci Guilty line. I did review Black, uh, Gucci Guilty, Absolute, Gucci Guilty, the Oud, then the Cologne few more okay so gucci house my favorite house some of the great gucci fragrance are gone like gucci uh uh gucci purom one gucci purom two you know gucci rush there was the other one uh gucci rush and gucci you know the other one uh, i can remember at this point so let's review so i was talking about this one <clears throat> first of all gucci intense oud okay let me talk about this first and then we'll compare this fragrance was really in 2016 and i think this my batch is 2018 so there was this uh, ongoing discussion that this fragrance uh, gonna get discontinued and it got reformulated some people say to used to be smooth and it, they don't get be smooth anymore after the reformulation so i believe this is the second batch okay reformulation batch but this is also hard to find in bangladesh i'll tell you in bangladeshi taka if i convert to us dollars it's reaching one seller told me he asked for 180 dollars almost 200 dollars for 90 ml of this juice i think this is 90 ml yeah 90 or 80 ml i forget always Oh my God, what's your size? 90 mil, okay. <laughs> what's your size? It sounds horrible. It sounds like a serial killer. Anyway, uh, so <laughs> this bottle, why I wanted it, once I reviewed it, I did not like it, you know, for a reason, because it was expensive. This, by far, one of the most expensive Gucci fragrances, just like the other ones. I don't know why this line is so expensive. Re regular Gucci goes for 50 something dollars. This goes for 100 something dollars, double the price, and less juice, 90 mil. And this basically is very similar to Black Afghano, but more designer-like version, right? And after that, this one discontinued. They actually released Gucci Guilty Oud to replace this. That's what I heard. That's what I know from my information gathered. Uh, this is more newer release, <clears throat> but they also discontinued this. This line, whatever good Gucci uh, Guilty Femme, Gucci uh, Guilty Absolute, this one, they're all gone. They're discontinued, but still can be had. This is more uh, affordable than this by... 30 40 or more 50 60 dollars this is much cheaper than this for same juice amount okay also 90 mil so if you see them side by side let's start the content uh, the comparison quickly uh, already four minutes gone shoot horrible review okay so both of them have black and gold which actually represents uh i think oud in fragrance community right and uh, they say basically most of the reviewers they said this is a niche quality juice max forty sebastian zara everybody loves this as the top class even mark loved it and this is regarded as one of the best Gucci fragrances that in the community people really love. Beautiful bottle, heavy glass base, uh, really nice. Let me show you. 
if you take it out it has this nice sort of like a, the horse i don't know what you call that thing i forgot that uh, there is this term this something is some similar to something so this one let me spray this on my left hand heavy bottle man really heavy bottle okay two sprays this is gonna be the final words on these ones so basically this is gonna be the final review of these and let me wear the other one it's not a good idea because it's still hot and humid out there but it's okay for the review sake okay two sprays on that so now first of all uh, prices bottle sizes both 90 mil smaller bottles i don't know but the femme one i seen for this one gucci guilty femme i saw smaller bottle 30 50 perhaps uh, other bottle this one should have smaller i don't know and this one um, i think the price right now as i told you 180 dollars cheapest you can find in bangladesh is 155 dollars okay if you get it from a verified source so way more expensive very very expensive and out of the two bottles i think both look fantastic but this bottle you gotta give it props much more premium much more interesting uh, but this one i also like okay thinner bottle same amount of juice and the golden and black looks really regal um, seasons to wear them okay uh, i think these two fragrances are very versatile you can wear this in cold weather so you're gonna get the best push or best uh, application but i think you can wear this at night time even in the fall uh, breezy summer nights you can wear it you know they're none of them gonna like choke anybody um, longevity wise out of the two i get better push from gucci guilty oud despite this being cheaper one i get better push more projection more longevity i get about eight hours plus with this on my shirt and skin combined a uh, projection on this is like uh, one and a half hours to two hours after that it's closer to skin this basically is a unisex perfume as i understand this one also could be unisex but more masculine this one projection longevity let me just tackle that uh, some people when they say this is not the reformation absolute garbage i don't think so this one what happens is the perfume actually you get nose blind to it it's long lasting but it's not beast okay one thing second thing projection it's kind of low compared to this this is a projection beast i would say this one it stays very nice much like a sand bubble around you people come close to you they smell you uh, it won't project that much unless you get the cold weather okay so the reformulation perhaps i never tried the 2016 version okay so that's one place this one is a little bit weak apart from that the longevity on this is pretty good if you do smell it you can smell it for a very long time it does have a very nice interesting smell in terms of smell very different very different nothing to do with each other except that designer oud but this is more smoky uh, let me tell you a little bit smoky and uh, dark think of tom for oud wood uh, also <clears throat> the black afghano mild tame version of that and you know if you know versace oud noir some of the spicy ones uh, tom for not tom for uh, the royal oud by creed this is the same line with those but uh, right now if you look at the price tag it's almost as much as uh, royal oud right uh, but it's a spicy smoky one and a bit dark woody fragrance this one it gets a lot of fruits okay this one also gets little, some fruity touches but on the dry down it's like a sweet fruity westernized wood this one is right from the go got these berries uh, blackberries or black currant man this one has rose it's so much sweet this one reminds me of bakara no this one reminds me of uh, M mfk oud satin mood if you love that one this is a designer version of that very very good very versatile very sweet much more interesting than this in terms of smell this one and this one will get you a lot more compliments because it got this sweet syrupy the berry vibe okay so sad to see this one go seriously both of them sad to see both of them go uh, they do different things for me okay uh, this one i would wear uh, when i go meet my friends i would wear a leather jacket i would go for a fracom meeting where i can be appreciated people will be like respect you're wearing gucci and if they know the value of this they'll be like damn you're lucky <laughs> gucci intense hood, you know uh, but if i go meet let's say unknown people strangers night time you know if i'm going for a wedding if i wear this people will look at me differently because nobody will smell as sweet the sweetness will really win hearts this one is a little less sweet this is a lot more sweeter so in terms of safe this is much more safer even though this has rose and wood but very polished a lot more juicy berry like okay so out of the two definitely as you can see from clearly i would say uh, in terms of price point longevity everything i would prefer this but those who are fan of darkness smoky incense sort of vibe this is just different this is so good it got this olibanum sort of like a raisinous feel you know the gucci intense is just so good you know for cold weathers this is for people who love gucci guilty absolute which i have at the back uh, that's a uh, that's a stellar perfume you know like i really love this uh, if you love these these are the same uh, 
people who love the same fragrances. So Gucci basically, uh, if you ask me out of the two, uh, safer choices, go with this. This is going to be affordable, uh, more sweeter, safer, longer lasting. But if you can get this, uh, the question is now this one, Gucci Intense Oud, how much would you pay for it like uh, realistically? You won't get it under $100 anymore. It's just days are gone. When I saw this in first time in Bangladesh, it was already like $110 for 90 mil. So never was cheap. That's why I never recommended you to buy it. But, you know, since this continuation for a collector, this is a collector's dream. You know, if you see all these three bottles, I'll show you. These are like collector's dreams. Gucci by Gucci. Oh, man, these are heavy, hard to match bottles. I hope I don't drop them. I want to show them. Actually, wait. I am such a lousy reviewer. <laughs> Sorry, you know messing up things really well okay if you see this these three bottles these are designer like bottles and these are fragrances like something to die for if you're a collector you definitely want to collect it uh, just be patient with this perfume give it a little bit time and you start slowly detecting this fragrance even despite after this continuation so hard to find and so expensive so practicality wise don't buy this you know it's not worth it even black afghan or 30 minutes is not worth it go get something better clone from Alexandria perhaps like Anubis that's a good fragrance or Mansara Hindu Kush and those will cover but there's some sweet uh, fruity a little bit dark vibe in this which you don't get in those it's actually Tom Ford Oudwood level okay if you like that you can get it as a backup okay so uh, you can see both are different unique you can collect this if money is not an issue you should both you should get both excellent fragrance for fall and cold weather so as a winner uh, practicality wise Gucci uh, guilty with today's winner okay thanks for watching uh, i will see you soon and i hope you could hear me i was just a little bit excited to use the mic that's why i talk a little bit extra that's all i did take care i'll see you soon don't beat me up Bye bye